In this episode, replacing elevators with human power and beer that fights climate change. Welcome to your Manufacturing Minute. Stairs, elevators, and escalators can take up precious space in a building, plus they're expensive and can require a lot of maintenance. So the Rombart Freeling Lab in Eindhoven, Netherlands created a new human-powered prototype system dubbed Vertical Walking. Requiring just 10% of the effort needed to climb stairs with no other external energy input needed, vertical walking uses a system of upright rails that incorporates pulleys and a gripping system to allow our user to move between floors in a building. By pulling up on the rails, a person seated within the unit is drawn upwards by a combination of the spring action from elasticized ropes and a tension pulley system that allows users to rest between exertions thanks to a set of grippers on each vertical pillar. The team says their prototype has been successfully proven by a wide range of people, including an amputee and an MS sufferer. Where could you see a system like this being used, and what advantages might it have over other systems? Tell us what you think by leaving your comments below. From time to time, we feature products in the food and bev space that spark our interest. Whether it be an intricate new manufacturing process, or it's just a weird product. This next story is a little bit of both. Patagonia, the company known for producing expensive backpacking and outdoorsy gear, with an eye towards sustainability, of course, has announced that it's getting into the craft beer market. And who is it nowadays? Well, ever the eco-conscious brand, Patagonia says their new American pale ale, called the Long Root Ale, is more than just sustainable. In fact, the ale is made with 15% Kernza, a long-rooted wild grain that cuts carbon output, helps rebuild soil health, and even requires less water. So really, this food crop literally acts like a sponge for carbon. And apparently this eco-friendly beer even tastes good too, especially if you like a grapefruit hoppy flavor with a perfectly balanced maltiness. What do you think about this eco-friendly beer? Would you try it? Tweet me your thoughts at Mnet News or leave your comments below. That's all the time we have for today, but tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for your next Manufacturing Minute.